the sexiest men's fragrance of all time. Do you need to own it or should you just get a clone? Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Sexy, seductive, woody, and spicy. Lanui Delome is probably one of the best. It was the best during 2009 and for a couple of years actually, and arguably might still be the best. Do you need to own this one though? Or should you just get a clone? There are a lot of good clones and a lot of people have been complaining about this one's performance, etc. And you know, is it still worth it today? Well, first off, the scent profile of this is absolutely phenomenal to this very day. Every time I smell it, I'm, I'm taken aback and it's, it's sexy AF man still to this very day in terms of the performance I spray it 8 to 15 times and you guys I get a little bit above average performance so this is a fragrance that still lasts like a solid seven to nine hours for me I just spray it like I want to smell like it and in terms of the projection most people will report that it's like skin scent I get moderate which is two to three feet genuinely so if you're gonna grab it you might be better off grabbing a 6.8 ounce but if you don't have it like that and you're looking for other scent profiles and getting you know clones then sure, grab a clone, but this fragrance I'll still buy. And I, I genuinely still enjoy this fragrance. Now, there are a couple of other fragrances we're gonna be talking about here today that get pretty close to this style of fragrance or DNA, some of which you can consider clones and some of which actually outperform this one in itself. But with its outperformance, you do lose a bit of the, the scent profile with this. Whether or not it's worth it, stick around to the end and let's get started by talking about a few of these clones. The first one we're gonna be talking about is by Salvatore Ferragamo and it's called F Black. Be careful, they have an original and it has no resemblance to La Nuit de Lome at all. F Black actually reminds me a lot of La Nuit de Lome, except it enhances a couple of notes and accords, and it's gonna be the lavender and the pepper. And it does do something else to the DNA. So this one kind of takes La Nuit de Lome and turns it into like fabric softener vibes with a little bit more spice. Going a bit thicker, if you will, uh, and actually reminding me a little bit of Blue Electrique before Blue Electrique even was Blue Electrique, right? It does have a bit more of like this old school vibe to it because of that barbershop increasing the whole lavender vibe and so I wouldn't say it's a re replacement per se but if you're looking for something you can beat uh, and just wear every single day on a budget this is one that you could even get away with doing that in terms of the scent profile getting kind of close I wouldn't say more than about 80% it does give you that cedar wood and pepper and cardamom style DNA increasing the, that lavender giving it more of like this fabric softener vibe with those peppers the performance for this is above average easily and in the project is going to be moderate to even above average as well. Price point and everything considered makes it worthy of grabbing. Generally speaking, this can be found on discounters for less than 50 bucks and at that price point, you really can't complain. It's not gonna give you as light of a nature and uh, you know diffusive style DNA as La Nuit de Lome, the sexy vibes, but it's still absolutely present with a little bit more thickness. In terms of the occasions, this is something you would still wear to dates, the office, and hanging out with the boys. I wouldn't necessarily say special occasions or the gym, but it still absolutely works in the same seasons as well. So winter, fall, and earlier days of the springtime. And that's pretty much it. F Black is actually pretty good. And sometimes it's forgotten. Quite a bit it's forgotten, actually. The other clone, I guess you can call, would be Poker Face by Ted Lapidus. This is one that's extremely harder to find. If you find it, grab it. But it also does something that's uh, a little bit different as well. Not necessarily increasing any of that lavender, but it does seem to have a bit more ambers. Taking a similar style DNA, losing the diffusivity, basically getting a bit richer and denser and making it seem like it's not as or smell not as expensive as Alain Louis de Lome. So yeah, this is one where it's going to translate. The dollars you spend, you're going to smell it. However, it still does a really good job. It actually has a lighter style DNA than F Black and gets closer to Alain Louis de Lome in my opinion as well. As you can see by the color gradient, it was suggestive of something like that. It's an extremely sexy fragrance and if you're looking for more date night style rather than going more lavender, then F, uh, Poker Face is an excellent fragrance. In terms of the longevity, I get average to slightly above average performance. I would say average is a solid bet. And in terms of the projection, moderate at best, basically the two to three feet. Not bad for the price if you can find it. That's the only issue with this fragrance. And that's pretty much it for Poker Face. So this is another great option that we're going to be looking at as well. And this has a lot of aspects of La Nuit de Lome, the original, but also Blue Electrique. And I bring it in this video and not some of the other clones that do Blue 
Blue Electrique because this one is more unique than some of those. It's called Jack of Clubs by Fragrance World. The reason that I put this one in the list is because of the fact that this kind of treads in between the category or realm of Blue Electrique meets La Nuit de Lhomme, the original. And in fact, there were those aspects that I liked about Jack of Clubs over all of the other La Nuit de Lhomme uh, clones, the Blue Electrique one. It's the fact that it's a bit more woody, it's a little bit less on that lavender, which is increased in the Blue Electrique. So because of that, this place is in a realm of between both. More woody, a bit more spicy than Blue Electrique, making it closer to La Nuit de Lhomme. It does have a bit more of a freshness and the lavender does seem increased a little bit more so, but it still can be heard and smelt in this DNA. La Nuit has less of that citrus or fresh at the top, a lot less of that lavender, but it still gets pretty damn close. In a realm of not many La Nuit de Lhomme inspos or clones that are actually worth grabbing, these are probably some of the best ones. Performance for Jack of Clubs is above average, not necessarily beastly. I've gotten anywhere from eight to 10 hours. And in terms of the projection, it's gonna be moderate. Moderate is, is definitely where I wanna place it, sometimes even giving me high, depending on how many times I've sprayed it. For the price, it's absolutely one of the best ones and it's not as hard to find. Even comparing it with one that's easier to find, this one does seem a little bit more mature because of those peppers. You get more so black pepper out of this one. Whereas this, it seems to stay close to the whole La Nuit vibe, basically. So all in all, in terms of whether or not you should get La Nuit de Lhomme or the clones really depends on your budget and your taste. In terms of a scent profile, I love La Nuit de Lhomme and I personally will always have this in my collection. I will say, however, that not everybody can afford to get a 6.8 ounce and just keep caking it on. And for everything in between those other like, you know, dates and more special occasions that you would want to wear the best, these will do exact, just fine, man. And even to some of those special occasions, Jack of Clubs, I wouldn't have a single problem rocking to occasions like dates and everything else that I mentioned. And with that being said, the occasions for Jack of Clubs would be dates, would be special occasions, uh, even to the office or hanging out with the bros, almost everywhere with the gym being the last most appropriate place. Well, I should say not appropriate place. And that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. YSL Lanui de Lome, the sexiest men's fragrance on the market, will be, has been for a long time, and I still think is worth it. But if you've been wondering on some clones and what gets close, etc., these three are probably some of the best ones. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.